welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha, if you guys are new here. In today's video, I'm gonna do a complete glow up, a little transformation makeover video for you guys. I really wanna get my nails done, and I'm about to get my hair cut, and I haven't had my hair cut in a really long time. I don't know if I'm gonna go too extreme. I'm not gonna cut it short or anything, but I just want a little makeover. I feel like my hair is just really plain, so I want to do something different. And as you guys can see, my face is not looking the best right now. So I've been breaking out a lot right here in this area, which is normally where I usually break out. I want to do just a whole complete makeover and maybe take some photos for the gram because I haven't done that in a while. And I'll just show you guys what I do in order to do that. So this is my before hair. I just chopped it all to one length. Yeah, and then I have like my bangs that are growing out. So I think I want to add the layers just to kind of give my hair more body and movement here. So that's what I'm gonna go do. And guys, so it is the next day. I did go get my hair cut and, and now I just have it up because I had to go to work after. I'm just using these face razors I got from Amazon. I got a huge pack of them, but basically I'm just going to shave my face. I'm just gonna go in with some tweezers and clean up my eyebrows. So before I wash my face, I'm gonna put this headband on. So I'm gonna use my face brush that I purchased from Amazon. This one's called Fancy with my foaming cleanser that I usually use from CeraVe. So before I put anything on my face, I do want to use these acne absorbing covers. I purchased these from Walmart. Okay, so basically I'm going to put these dots everywhere on these blemishes. I'm going to see what it does. So it says gently press the edges of the cover with clean and dry fingers for better adhesion. So... So I'm not going to put moisturizer on. I'm actually going to do my nighttime routine. Even though it's not nighttime, it's during the day, but I'm not doing anything with my face. So this is called the Lush Below Gray Serum. It looks like a bar of soap, but it turns into a serum once it's like rubbed all over your face. And then I just kind of put it everywhere. All right, you guys. So while the Full of Gray Serum is nice and coated onto our skin, I'm gonna go do my nails and my toenails. It's probably gonna take a couple hours. So, so I'm gonna start my pedicure and I'm gonna soak my feet in some hot water and I added some bubbles and some Epsom salt. And then I'm gonna start by exfoliating my feet. And I'm just gonna use a foot file and just start scrubbing my feet, taking off any dead skin. And then I'll also go in with a stone rock as well. And this again, will just take off any dead skin and smoothen out the area. Now I'm just gonna push back the cuticles. And then I'll start trimming any extra cuticle skin just to clean up around the nail. Now I'm just gonna smoothen the nail, make it all even so that I can add my gel polish. And then I'm going to file down the nails and make them a nice square shape. And then just cleaning up the nails with some alcohol. Now I'm just going to transform my left big toe. I know this is super extra, but I'm going to add a acrylic tip on that nail because I really want it to look nice when I add some polish. So I'm just gluing that down. Then I'm just going to blend it in with my natural nail. And then I'll clip it to the desired length. And you'll see how I catfish my toes. So now I'm just gonna file it down and make it match the other side. Then I'm gonna go in with my Amelie base coat. Then I'm gonna cure each layer for about a minute. Then I'm gonna go in with my color and I'm using the Amelie white polish in number 11. And then just cleaning up any mistakes before I cure it and I'll cure it for about a minute. So I usually like to do three layers of color and then I'll add my top coat by Amelie. So now I'm just going to clean up the shape and then I'm going to add a foot mask for extra hydration. So I'll leave that on for about a half an hour and then I'm going to rub it into the skin. And then finishing off with some cuticle oil and that is my before and after. So guys, now I'm going to start my nails. So I'll begin by soaking my nails in some hot water. This is just going to soften the skin around my cuticle area. Then I'm going to push the cuticle skin back. 
If you guys are interested in any of the tools that I'm using, then make sure to check out my nail routine video. I'll have the video linked down below or up top here. Now I'm just using a nail block so that I can roughen the surface so that the press-ons can stick better. Then I'll just use an acrylic nail trimmer and I'll just trim them down to my desired length. Then I'll take my nail drill and I'll just smoothen the area around my cuticle and the press-on nail so that it looks more natural and more like my nail. Just taking the filing block again and I'm just going to use the side that's not so rough and I'm just going to smoothen it out just before we put the polish. And just taking some alcohol and I'm just going to clean the nail from any dust or residue that was left. Then I'll go in with a nail file and I'll start shaping out my press-ons and I'll do a little bit of a narrowed square shape. So for gel polish, I'm using all Emily gel polishes and I'll first start off with their base coat. And then I'll cure each layer for about a minute. So for gel polish, I'm using the number 116. So this is a really nice peachy tone, but I found it was too sheer for me and I felt like I needed more than three coats. So I decided to go in with another color as well, which you'll see on the screen. So just curing the nail for a minute and then I'll go in with that 107 color as well. This is definitely a darker nude, but I still wanted to go back in with the number 116. So now we're just finishing off with the first color we used, which was 116. And this is just gonna add a nice peachier tone to the dark nude. Once I'm done all the gel color, I'm going to finish off with the No Wipe Top Coat by Amelie. And then I'll go ahead and repeat all of this on the other side. So just fixing up the shape again, and then I'm gonna finish off with some cuticle oil and some lotion by Nivea, and that is my nails. So here's a quick before and after. Good morning, you guys. I'm gonna finally do my hair and makeup. I feel like my face is doing a lot better now. Before I went to bed, I don't think I filmed it, but I just put some more patches, I just replaced them. And I saw a huge difference when I took the first ones off. I got a little excited and I wanted to do it again and see what the result was gonna be when I wake up. So before I do anything, I do want to whiten my teeth because we are obviously having a glow up. I'm just using the Smile Direct Brightening Pen and Light. That plugs into your phone, and I'm just gonna dry my teeth now. All right, you guys, now it's time to take these bad boys off. So I'm gonna hop in the shower, but I'm not gonna film it for this video. I do have a separate video I just came out with. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, the video will be linked down below or up top here. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the Mark Anthony Dream Big Volume. So I use this to add volume and thickness to my hair because I like it to be very volumized. My hair is naturally straight, so I want something that's gonna make it nice and big. So just like that, and I'll put it on my roots. We're gonna also use this IT 12-in-1 Amazing Leave-In Treatment. So this is also another volumizing treatment. I'm just gonna spray it on the roots. So I recently went to the dollar store and I got these hair rollers. So I got a pack of three and then I got one pack of the jumbo size ones. So I don't know if I'm gonna use these ones. These are really big. Um, I was thinking maybe at the very top to give myself some full volume. So I'm gonna use my blow jar. This is the Infinity Pro by Conair. Okay, so I have a little bit of volume. I'm gonna put some dry shampoo because I don't like to do my hair when it's freshly clean, you know? So I'm just gonna put this stuff in it. It's just gonna give it some 
texture. And it's the volumizing one from Dove. So I'm gonna start my blowout by sectioning my hair just to make it easier. And then I'm gonna go from one side to the other. And I'm gonna sweep my hair away from the face. So as you can see in the clip here, I also wanna mention that I keep my blow dryer on a warm heat. I don't really use hot heat unless I really need to. And then using the round brush, I'm just gonna curl it in and then hold it there for a second and then release it slowly. And then I'll let it go into kind of a curl. And then I'll just repeat that throughout the whole hair. Hopefully it's not too confusing, but you guys kind of see what I'm doing on the screen here. and I'm gonna use these rollers I got from the dollar store and I'm gonna roll it into the top of my hair basically and I'm just gonna use two on the sides and then two on the top as well and then this is just gonna add some volume and then just help the hair set in place while I do my makeup not gonna lie you guys this was my first time doing this and my arms were like dying <laughs> Like you can see the stress in my eyes. I just wanted it to be over. Okay, so I got the rollers in. It looks so messy. I should have went in smaller sections, but this is fine. I'm not gonna dwell on it. I'm already getting sweaty in here and I just took a shower, so not trying to do all that. I put these eye gel masks in the freezer, tried to make them nice and cool quickly. I'm gonna put them on my eye. Oh, oh my God, I meant to do that over here. Okay. So I'm gonna first start off with this Pond's moisturizer. I'm gonna use the Tattoo Studio by Maybelline. This is the pomade here. So now I'm gonna go in with my Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer Concealer. This one is in number seven. I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Nude Palette. It's this one here. It has a lot of really pretty colors here. And I'm gonna use Bare all over my lid. And then same brush, I'm gonna use Flay, which is this one here. I'm gonna go in the crease a little bit. I'm gonna use Teddy, which is right here. And then I'm gonna go in the corner and bring it into the crease as well. Now I'm just gonna go in with raw right here. And again, just go at the corner. I think I wanna go in a little bit with the purple. So that's Love Bite right here in the corner or this second one from the corner. Okay, now I'm gonna go in, not really with a flat brush, but just a brush kind of like this. I'm gonna add play on top of the eyelid. This is a nice flirty look. I'm gonna wipe that brush off and we're gonna use it again. Just on the brow bone with the color Bear, which is right here. I need to fix my eyebrows. I'm gonna do the arch a little bit and this is Dark Brown by Anastasia. The color was just a little bit too light for me. This is the NYX Lash Curler, but it's not my fave. It's the only one I can find right now. And now I'm gonna add my Voluminous Mascara by L'Oreal. I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty, but this is the Desert Dusk Palette. And I just wanna deepen that corner there again. So I'm gonna go in with, I think it's Odd, Oud? I don't know how to say that. I'm just gonna put that in the corner here. This is just gonna deepen. 
Okay, so these are the number ones by Kiss. It's been over a half an hour, so these can come off. Now I'm just gonna put some eye cream on. This is the CeraVe Repairing Eye Cream. It definitely soothed that area. Now it's not so red anymore. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Sunkiss Booster Drops. So I'm gonna prime my face today. I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. It's this one here. So pushing that into the skin. So for foundation, I'm gonna use the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation by NARS. I have the color Stromboli. That's this one here. And I'm gonna mix it with the True Match Lumi Liquid Glow Illuminator by L'Oreal. I got the one in gold. So I'm gonna warm up the face using the CoverGirl in Golden Caramel. For concealer, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer in Light Medium. And I'm gonna add another one. It's the Makeup Revolution Concealer in number six. So to set under the eyes, I'm using the Maybelline Fair Light number 10 setting powder. So I'm gonna use the MAC 135 brush and I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Bronzer in Saddle. I'm not gonna add too much because this one's pretty dark, but I wanna do like a nice bronze look. And I'm gonna use the Hula Benefit bronzer and that's just more of a lighter tone. So I'm gonna take this color right here, just a little bit of it. And I'm just going to focus that on the corner. This is the darkest color we used. And it's from the last palette, the Desert Dusk. And I'm gonna use Teddy. I'm gonna use the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. So I'm just gonna spray my face all over, try to cover my hair a little bit. I'm gonna go in and set my eyebrows. This is the 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. So for lip liner, I'm using the NYX Peach Don't Kill My Vibe lip liner. And liquid lipstick, I'm using Cheekies by NYX as well. So I'm gonna go in with the Dose of Colors Fuego. So I just grabbed my Grow Long Volumizing Texture Spray right here, and I'm just gonna put it everywhere. That's literally how I wanted my bangs to sit, was like kind of away from my face. This is so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly change and then I'll show you guys, I guess, the finished look. All right, you guys, this is the final look. I am so happy I finally have makeup on. I finally did my nails. My nails look super cute. I did my toes. You guys saw that transformation. I feel like my skin looks a lot better now that I use those new acne covers I purchased. I'm gonna definitely use those and I'll let you guys know how they go for me because I have never used a product like that before. I know that there was like a TikTok about those Hydroseal bandages, which is honestly what I went to the drugstore looking for. And I came across those acne strips. I don't know how long they've been out for, but yeah, they're definitely gonna help me out because your girl gets really bad acne. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do wanna see more from me, then make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. Also, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, my Instagram handle is Keisha Alejandra. I'll have it right here for you guys to see. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.